Okay. Good morning. My name is Terry Taylor. I'm the managing editor of Growing in Grace Children's Music Curriculum. I'm here in my office in Franklin, Tennessee, just south of Nashville. And I want to welcome you uh, to the Alleluia Conference and to this Children's Intensive Conference and to this breakout session, which is uh, titled Keep on Singing Short, Short Stories, Tall Truths. And we're going to unpack our upcoming year preschool curriculum. The, um, the prefix on there, keep on singing, is a carryover from last year when we didn't publish our normal curriculum, but put together uh, some materials, digital materials that you could use for distance learning. And last October, uh, we were still in really thick in the woods with the pandemic, and we decided that we needed to publish Keep On Singing and have the digital curriculum again for this fall. However, as we got into the spring and we began to see that uh, we were emerging out of the worst of the pandemic, uh, we made the decision to keep the digital component, which are all the videos for the songs and activities, uh, but also add all the PDF print materials that we typically publish. So this year, which is uh, the th all new music, all new theme, all new materials, short stories, tall truths, life lessons from the parables. Uh, you have really what you've always had if you're a longtime user of Growing in Grace, all the print materials and the MP3s and everything like you've always had. But you also have a total complete digital component, which are all the song videos and all the activity videos. So you can still teach any way you want to, either distance learning or in person, or what I'm going to be doing is in-person teaching, but I'm going to send the links to these videos to the families, and we'll be rehearsing the songs in person um, midweek, and then the children can access these videos and continue to learn and listen uh, to the songs and, and know the songs even that much better. So I'd like to jump right in to um, a PowerPoint that I've prepared for the fall. So uh, here we go. Uh, you can see uh, the cover. I will say that all the curriculum is um, a digital download this year. Uh, so it will come from our server to your computer and uh, all the materials you, you need will be there. It is no longer, um, the DigiPack is no longer available as it was in the past. It's all a digital download. We also have outstanding customer service that will be helping you if you need it in any way. So we have the introductory page that talks a little bit about um, the, the theme for this year and the, the content. Uh, we have, of course, tips for using Keep On Singing, either in-person teaching or distance learning. We've listed the curriculum components. You notice the top part of that are uh, the PDFs, and then the digital content is located online, and you access that through links, and I'll show you more about that. It's, it's really super easy. Uh, here are the, uh, the song uh, links, the song titles and links, and you just mouse over uh, the link. Now, this is a JPEG. It won't do it here, but you mouse over that and you click on it and it takes you um, directly to the video. Also, we have the activities. Uh, of course, you can see here at the bottom, we have the kid pages. We have the devotionals uh, as we've always had. Um, here are all the visuals that you have just as you have always known them, um, the eight and a half by 11s, everything PDF. The large oversized visuals, uh, you still have the multi-page version that you can trim, cut out, and put together like you've been doing. But this year we have a new feature, which is the poster kit. And it's all the visuals that are larger than eight and a half by 11 that have been professionally printed on beautiful offset printing and they're folded and put in a Ziploc bag. And uh, so you have the option of never having to trim and cut and paste together again. Uh, we're really uh, happy to be able to offer this to you. 
We also have a page here on adapting the preschool for threes. And uh, then preschool tips and extras. These are activities and uh, little resources to uh, that add to what's written. And then, of course, the last page. If you print all this and put it in a notebook, you can trim that off and be the spine of the notebook. So as uh, what I'd like to do is jump right in and let you listen to some of the songs and uh, see some of the visuals and also the videos. So you're going to get a good look at the content, the music for the preschool. Of course, we still have the, the song teaching visual checklist, both general use visuals that go with any song and then the song related uh, visuals. And here's our theme song. Uh, the theme song, I will say, as you know, um, is um, written to be successfully performed uh, by both preschool and elementary. It's the same song. Uh, the elementary version has a harmonized ending that, of course, the preschool song doesn't have. And typically, our theme song is, is pretty upbeat, and this is, uh, this is no exception. Okay, so the, B, the A section comes back, so we'll move on. And here is our theme poster that has each of the six parables and with Jesus uh, teaching in the middle. We started right above Jesus, the three stewards, sower in the seed, sower seed and soils, the lost coin, the lost sheep, the wise and foolish builders, the good Samaritan, and the vineyard workers. We chose... Um, Parables that we think are child-friendly and accessible and teach really life lessons uh, for the children. Uh, beautif beautifully rendered art here. And we, uh, in all of our visuals, uh, we tried to pull themes from the art themes uh, from the visuals and include them in the video. So there would be a thematic connection between the video and the visuals on the wall. Of course, we have teaching steps. Uh, there's a link for the sign language. You can look at the sign language on that hyperlink. Um, there's amplification, uh, kind of drilling deep into the meaning behind each spiritual or uh, each parable. Uh, there's also information in our curriculum companion. Uh, formerly, we call that step by step. We're calling it the curriculum companion now. And uh, there's more information about the parables there, theme interpretation and things. So let's look at a little bit of uh, the video for this song. Yeah. 
So you get the idea there of how, how these visuals work. Uh, we, this year, uh, for our Keep On Singing for the videos, we contracted with a professional video production company. So you'll, you'll see uh, kind of an upscale of the effects and the quality in the video because we, we did them, we're pretty proud of last year, we did them in-house, uh, and uh, but we're really excited about this upcoming year. and. The quality of those videos. Here's Christmas Cindy Berry. Celebrate the birth of the baby Jesus. Celebrate the birth of the newborn King. Glory to God in the Okay, and we'll listen to the B section on the video. Uh, here are the visuals. And we incorporated them in the video. Let's see if we can pick up that B section here. And I, I do think it, it would be great to, in some degree, to include these in your in-person teaching or certainly uh, let your families have access to these, uh, the web address, you know, the links to these videos that they can access them. The children can watch these and listen to them, learn the song at home during the week. Everywhere I go. Then the A section comes back. Uh, here are the visuals. We also have the four voices, or we included, I think, five this time, which is think. Think before you sing. So I, I think that's a good addition. Also a little mood poster, and then the video. Let's listen to a little of that. And then, then it continues. You notice that these preschool videos do have words, and I, that's really for the grown-ups that may want to sing along uh, with or, or be a part of that. If, if it's home with the parents, the whole family could, you know, learn and sing, sing this song, sing any of the songs. I think I'm going to stop right here and just make sure this is a technical check 
and make sure uh, that everything, everything going good. Rick, my technical assistant, everybody see everything they need to see. Just stop in to check. We're going to pick right back up where we left off. Excellent. Glad to hear it. God will send a savior. Another uh, a Christmas song by Ruth Elaine Schramm. Three, four, which is always great. Okay, you see how that goes. There's, there's the visual for that. And now let's listen to, let's pick up in the middle of the video here. Yeah, beautiful images there. Um, Nancy Munger did that graphic, the illustration work, custom illustrations. I can talk to you and pray. And then if there's a repeat, here's a little melody map uh, that outlines the melody and also has the, the text in there. And then let's pick up the video. We, we used, I think, images, uh, photographs for this. Growing up, this is a this is a real cute song. switch over uh, well here is here is the visual for this that goes on the wall it's in our poster kit of course you can also the separate pages are there if you want to just print it out and tape it together but uh, the the way that we incorporated these images into the video are very cute so let's watch some of that <laughs> Let's see, let's start. I can run and jump and sing. I can dance around and sing. I can climb on steady I can say 
go. It's a great thing to grow up. Love the Lord. So a beautiful ballad. Let's look at the video. Let's continue on the video. Oh, every day. I, I forgot. Carol shows us the sign language for this. This is the sign language for love the Lord. Love the Lord with all your heart. Love the Lord with all your soul. And soul is just pulling an imaginary string out of your hand that's shaped in a cup. Love the Lord with all your mind and with all your strength. Love all the neighbors you meet every day. Be kind in everything you do and say. Those are the motions, and so now let's try it with the music. Okay, and the A section comes back, and we love Addie, too, who did these uh, videos for us this time. And, uh, you know, this is a song we might need to teach the entire congregation, the whole church. All, all the Everybody needs to sing and know uh, this song. Um, all right, let's keep on. Plenty. That's that. And there's our visual. And in the video, we just incorporate these images uh, into the video. I'm going to skip over that one. We need to move ahead. Star so bright. Minor. Star so bright. 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 
And it continues like that. There is the visual. And uh, we incorporated these images in our video. And notice uh, Jesus is a toddler. We do know that the wise men really came quite a bit later after Jesus' birth and when Jesus was living in a house, not in the manger. So there he is. Let's look at just a, the last part of this video. Another Christmas song. Okay, and here is the visual, and it has add-ons. This is in the poster kit. Then there are these three add-ons. Uh, stars are shining bright, shepherds came, or the uh, angels sang, and the shepherds came. And then you add them onto the poster as the kids, you know, learn the song. And uh, let's do a little bit of the, just the last part of the video. This is the day. Dora Ann Purdy. Some of you recognize that name. Then the A section comes back, and here's a little melody map for that, and a bell, a bell chart for children to play this bell pattern along with the song. And let's let's watch a little bit of the video about halfway through. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Let us rejoice and be glad. Go. And now let's transition into the activities. Uh, obviously, we have the activity checklist with the uh, thumb nails of all the visuals and all the materials that go with each activity uh, there. As you print, you can keep up with what you've printed. And uh, then um, just going to take us through uh, this, the activity videos. And I do want to preface this by saying on the on the video, since we always kept in mind that children may be doing this on their own at home without any uh, any guidance from a teacher. The first part of these videos are the video equivalent of teaching steps so that the child can see how to do the activity. 
and then about halfway through the actual activity um, begins. So um, let's here's here's the visual, and then here's the. So you can see the instructions. And I'm gonna, so here the chat starts, I believe. Then we move forward and you stir the soup. So here we go. And there we go. So we chop and we stir uh, to the steady beat. Five Little Spiders is a singing game. Here's the visual, there are add-ons. So this can be done easily in person. You have everything you need for that, or you can do show the video. And of course, we're counting down three, two, one, till there's no spiders and they've all crawled off. And it's a fun song. Let's twist. There's our visual. And here is the video. We teach the, we teach the motions of these. And then the song starts. <laughs> and then let's see pat pat and then let's do the ending down and then back up Good Samaritan story activity. Uh, the children chant, that's really good, or that's really bad, and kind of use the vocal inflection. We have instructions here. Just experiencing some vocal inflection.
Once, there was a man who was happily walking on his way to Jericho. That's really good! While he was walking, he fell into the hands of robbers who beat him, stole from him, and left him hurting and injured on the side of the road. That's really bad! Now, by chance, a very important man, a priest, came walking along and noticed him lying by the side of the road. That's really good! But the priest moved to the other side of the road, pretending that he did not notice the man. He did nothing to help him. That's really bad! Then, another important man called a Levite, a temple helper, came walking along and noticed the man lying by the side of the road. That's really good! But the Levite also moved to the other side of the road and passed right by. He did nothing to help the man. That's really bad! along the road and saw the man lying hurt. The Samaritan wanted to help the man, so he began to bandage his hands. That's really good! The Samaritan even took him to an inn and gave him money to take care of the wounded man. He was showing love to a person he did not know. He was loving his name. That's really good. And that's the story of the Good Samaritan. There you go. Then we have a theme uh, activity, Truth Trek Energizer. Let's look at a little bit of that. The, here again, the motions are explained in the front Truth part. Truth Trek Energizer. And Addie is back to show us the motions. Hike, soar, paddle, swim kind of an action adventure take on the parables and let's look right into the motions here. Then it goes back to the beginning and does it a couple of times and they jump and pose at the end. So it's a lot of fun, a great fun energizer. Wacky pumpkin activity. Uh, there's our visual. And in this, the children uh, play on the colored pumpkins and don't play on the, the outline, the white outline pumpkins. It's not really designed for different boom whacker colors. Um, but it can be done that way, but it's really more of a steady beat and rest and play. And the instructions are here. Um, wow. And let's move into, at first the children just play the steady beat all the way through. And now let's, let's do the back and forth. Play on the colored pumpkins and don't play, play on the white pumpkins. Follow the music and play along. Remember to play only on the colored pumpkins. Start playing after the four clicks. Here we go.
and you see how that works. And if you have that poster uh, in your in-person teaching in your classroom, of course, you would just take a rhythm stick or something and track for the kids as they go. But we have the little scarecrow jumping around here to help the kids track as they go. What do you see? Activity is a singing game. What do you see? Activity. This is a singing game. In this game, you'll see lots of animals. Each animal will be in front of the letter that begins its name. Let's look at the animals you will see. Can you name each one? Yes, that's an alligator. Correct. So we move through identifying several of the animals. Now, in the in-person teaching, there's an animal for every letter of the alphabet. But on uh, the video version, obviously, we could not make the video that long. So we just chose some of the animals. And then you can, let's start the, uh, the singing game part of it, and you can see how that works. So they continue the little echo back and forth all the way through all these different animals. So it's a, it's a nice uh, singing echo type activity. Uh, we have kid pages. Let's look at them everywhere I go based on that song. Um, and of course, all the kid pages have teaching steps. Find the lost coin. Find the lost sheep. It's a numbers game. Uh, find the way home. They trace these uh, different shapes. Uh, coloring on the dotted, um, following the dotted lines and then coloring all these little skills. Here's five voices and the children match the five different voices, connect these animals with the, with the different spiders. Growing seeds, they're determine this is a cutout and of course children are learning sequential ordering they're uh, line these uh, images up in the correct order and then uh, i'm growing up and they match the sequence again um, another poster loud and quiet you know we don't say loud and soft soft is a pillow or a piece of cotton i have to train myself i'm always saying loud and soft but really when you when you remember say loud and quiet uh, tracing letters and examples of loving your neighbor i really like this activity where they trace these letters and they um, you know these sight letters they fill in uh, the missing the missing letter there and then a little music symbol uh, maze and parables of Jesus, they connect these images together. I uh, also wanna talk for uh, a minute about uh, session outline cards. Uh, in the past, we have had um, full-blown session plans and we've pulled copy in from the song teaching steps and they've been five and six pages long and it's a lot of copying and duplicating the same information we, we moved to a session outline recently, and we're going to see if we can give this a try and see if it's useful for you and actually helpful. Uh, when I do choir, I list the sequence of my rehearsal on the uh, dry erase marker board and put a little check 
a box there and I actually enlist a child to come up and check it off. The children can see the progress that we're making in the rehearsal and gives them a sense of, uh, you know, accomplishment and getting things done. And it kind of helps with classroom management. And uh, so I, the plan is you can print these, cut them out, clip them onto your music notebook or, or whatever you have. And they're for every session of the 15 sessions. And you follow these and you can get everything, um, everything completed. So let's, let's see how that, this works. Uh, we also have uh, devotionals. Um, they, these uh, were written by Carol Dickerson, our preschool design editor. And we have 15 of those. Um, I think I gave you three samples. And then we, uh, we also have um, refer you to our website. Um, and that's, um, you see growingingrace.com will take you to uh, our uh, dedicated Growing in Grace website. And um, here uh, is a uh, little brochure. I want you to see we have preschool collections now. We can sing um, uh, one and two, and we also have a preschool musical. Uh, there are hymn studies, hymn discovery. Of course, these are for elementary kids. We have elementary collections too. Uh, but there's a discount code for this conference uh, for anything you order will be 15% uh, off. And of course, um, there's my email, tdtaylormusic at gmail.com. I would love to hear from you anytime you have any questions or feedback. It's always um, meaningful to me to talk to those, you know, who are using our curriculum. And uh, we learn a lot and uh, we make revisions in what we do based on the feedback that we get. From, from, our, from you, our users, you all are our heroes and we are here for you. Um, there's one other thing I wanna show you. I'm gonna close out of um, my PowerPoint and go to uh, preschool. This is the actual overview and I wanna, I wanna take you to say let's go to the songs and we can you you see how when you mouse over this um link you can click on it and it takes you immediately this is our website right here and we've embedded this video here and this is what you can give your families and they can just click on that link and go and watch this video if you need to download the actual MP4 for any use that you have when you're going to be using it, and you're not going to be around the internet or for whatever reason you need, you can go up here and click on this title and, and it navigates you to the Vimeo website. And then you can go right here and click on download and you have all these download options to download the actual MP4 to your computer. We rendered these in the HD 1080, so that's what I normally do. And you just click on that, and it downloads directly uh, to your computer the entire MP4. So I wanted you to see that and know that that's how that works. Let me see if I can turn that off. There we go. And and you have that just, just by clicking on, uh, on these hyperlinks, uh, both the uh, the songs and the activities. So the overview is an important document that gets you to, um, to those hyperlinks and to those videos. Uh, you can see our time is uh, close to being over and uh, did want you to see, um, I did upload for this session a brochure and uh, it has all the new uh, children's music resources for 2021 and uh, from growing in grace and here again we have a new product that we have a new school market um, division called Pe peak road publishing and we have um, rhythm and beats for hands and feet and 
instrument fund for everyone. So you'll see this there. Uh, our hymn studies, preschool, kindergarten, reproducible collections. Uh, the wonderful thing about the reproducible collections is obviously you reproduce, make as many copies as you need. The MP3s are there for you, the, the demo and the accompaniment, um, as, as well as song teaching steps and visuals uh, for these songs. So there, um, there's a wonderful addition, a supplement to, to your program. Of course, we have the Anthem series for the kids that can read. I want to tell you again um, that you're in the greatest work in the world. And when, when I talk about ministering to children uh, following the pandemic, um, I'm going to talk about what happens in the brain of preschoolers. Um, so when you do music with preschoolers, you're laying neural pathways that are going to stay with them for life and greatly impact them musically and also their faith. So you are our heroes and you are doing work that will impact eternity and ministry that will impact the lives of these kids and their kids and the kids that follow. So we admire you so much and I thank you for spending this time with me and look forward to hearing from you if you have any questions. God bless.